And welcome back to what? Couple Movie Watchers. With Ryan and what? Anna. Today we're going to talk about The Matrix Resurrection versus Spider-Man No Way Home. Which movies going to reign supreme at the box office? Can Matrix dethrone Spider-Man? We shall find out. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. So let's jump in into today's video. All right, Anna. Let's break down the Matrix versus Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, yeah, you have the King's Man movie coming out, but that one is not going to be a factor in, in this discussion. So we're not even going to talk about that. Mm -hmm. We're, we're going to talk about the Matrix uh, Resurrection versus Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, before we give our predictions, let's break down a couple of numbers here. So the first Matrix debuted in 1999 and it made $27 million. Mm-hmm on this open day weekend. The second one, 91 million. The third one, 48 million. Now this is before inflation and adjustments. But as you can see, the first one did good for its time. The second one did really, really well. And then the third one dropped almost half. Mm -hmm. So let's look at Spider-Man. It opened up to $253 million this past weekend. The question is, do the Matrix 4 have enough steam to dethrone Spider-Man. Now, I'm going to give my prediction, Anna. You can tell me what you think afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel Spider-Man, say Spider-Man dips 50%, you're still looking at $125 million uh, second weekend. Let's say it dips further than that, it drops to like $100 million. Can Matrix beat that? What do you think? Do you think the Matrix can beat that? No. I don't think so. I think The Matrix is going to be well, but The Matrix is on HBO Max, which is going to have, have which is going against it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put The Matrix. I'm going to put Spider Man as the number one movie this weekend, making anywhere between eighty and one hundred and twenty million dollars at the box office. The Matrix is going to be the second movie at the box office, grossing anywhere between thirty five million to forty five million. And the reason why I say that number is because Dune, I don't think Dune passed $40 million. And Dune, I feel, had a little bit more buzz. I feel like uh, with Spider-Man out at the movie theaters and you have the option to watch this at home, I think more people will, will either watch Spider-Man or watch The Matrix 3 at home. Which we're actually starting to binge watch all three movies as we speak. So those are my numbers. The Matrix is going to be the number two movie between thirty-five to forty-five million, and Spider-Man is going to have eighty to one hundred twenty million dollars at the box office. But what do you have, Anna? What is your projections? Mm, I think Spider-Man is going to be doing um, number one also, and I'm going to say for Spider-Man it would be around a uh, hundred million to one hundred. 30 million. <laughs> okay. You're going to just go a little higher than me, huh? That's fine. What about The Matrix? Mm. What do you think that's going to do? Mm. Think about it. Well, um, because, like, I didn't expect Ghostbusters to do well. And they ended up doing really well for the first week. Mm -hmm. And that's an old school one. And this one is throwback too. So it's like a lot of older fans are going to go and watch it. I feel it might do maybe like between, I want to say 36 to 48. Basically, you're copying my numbers. Just adding a little bit on it. <laughs> that's basically what you're saying. Mm -hmm. All right, that's fine. That's fair. Um, I don't think he's going to do more than that or less than that. Next time, you're going to go first. Because but... <laughs> I don't know how to predict it that much. That's all good. That's all good. We're just throwing numbers out there. Just not a waiter. This is just a friendly um, uh, YouTube video. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. We are out of here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Peace.